Hey Visual Techs, I'm going to go through the process of getting your announcements ready. Uh, this will all happen before your service, but uh, it's actually a fairly simple process if you uh, follow these steps and I want to make sure that everybody's going to on the same page and it's obviously easier for you when you go to do it. Okay, so if we look at ProPresenter, um, I have up now what the announcements were the following weekend. Okay, so as you can see, there's a bunch of things missing because over the course of the week, we pull out of the cloud server um, all of the announcements that are stale dated and we put up all the new stuff. So when you load up ProPresenter, what you're seeing is last week's um, run of uh, slides, but some of them aren't missing and you don't have any of the new ones in. So here's what we're going to do. First things first, we're going to go and we're going to hold down the um, command key, click on the first one, and then add the shift key to it, click on the last one, that's going to select them all, they should all have blue boxes around them, and then I want you to delete them. Hit your delete key, delete, yep. So we've just wiped out everything that are in your announcements slide, okay? Then if we come down here to our video bin, you will have an announcements hot folder, and this will get updated automatically because it's looking at the cloud uh, folder that uh, we upload from uh, Winnipeg South or Central Support. So in it, what we want to do now is we want to take all of these slides and pull them up here. So we're going to do the same thing. On that first slide, I'm going to hold down the command key. I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to go to the last one. And I'm going to hold down my shift key as well. Click on the last one. Now they all have blue boxes on them. I'm going to take it. I'm going to drag them up. Drop them there. Next thing you want to do is you want to select all these slides. So you can do that same process again. Command, click on the first one. Hold down the shift, click on the last one. Or you, there's actually an easier step. If you command click on the first one, while you're holding down the command key, just hit A, and that's for all. So it'll select all of them. Same thing, you can do it either way, whichever you like. So once you've selected them all, you're going to right click on any one of them, and you want to go to go to next timer. So uh, when you see go to next timer, you click that. It's going to ask you how many seconds you want these to display for. We want 17 seconds. So we'll tell it OK right there. Now the problem is if we let it go like this, it's going to get to the last one and it's going to stop. So we need to go to the last one, right click on it separately so that it's the only one that's selected now. We'll go back into the go to next timer and we're going to click on this box that says loop to first slide. We tell that OK. Now all the slides are prepared. You click on the first one and it's going to start running. So that's just a quick uh, reminder on how to easily, hopefully, uh, for you clear out all the old slides, add in the new ones. All right, thanks much.